Saranta Pumangalam. This has been the ninth stala, which has represented the planet Venus, which is also called as Shikran, in Tamil language. Sage Romeser, after having consecrated the eight lingams, at Papanasam, Charan Madhavi, Kodika Nalor, Hunathur, Murapanado, Sri Vikandam, Thintharapai, and at Rajapathi, one by one, at last had reached here, at Saranthapumangalam, as the last, and the ninth lotus flower had docked here, on the bank of the river Thamirabharani. Sage Romeser, after having consecrated the ninth lingam, at Saranthapumangalam, had dedicated the lingam, to the planet Venus, which has been also called as Shikran, in Tamil language. After having consecrated these nine lingams, along the bank of the river Thamirabharani, Sage Romeser had been given the opportunity of worshipping, Lord Shiva, with Goddess Parvati, in the real form and the sage Romeser had been given, with the salvation of immortality. Ninth Lotus Flower, out of the nine lotus flowers, which were dropped on the stream of the river Thamirabharani, at its origin, had docked on the bank of the river Thamirabharani, here at Saranthapumangalam, which has been very near to the place, called as Panekayal, where the river Thamirabharani, has its reach with the sea. Here in this estuary, where the river current meets with the tide of the sea, the great sage August the Year, and the king of the sea, both had taken the holy bath, and had worshipped Lord Shiva. Devotees, who are in the worship of Lord Murga at Thurachanthaur, just only by walk, at first, have taken holy bath here, at the estuary of Phanekayal, and then only, they would prefer to take bath in the sea of Thurachanthaur. Here, as like the other Shiva temples, the functions like Aruthrotharisanam, which fall under the Tamil month of Morkali, and the Brahmurchavam, which fall under the Tamil month of Chithrai have been celebrating in a grand manner.
here, the presiding deity has been called as Kailas Nother, and the goddess has been residing with the name of Ola Iyapan Anmai. Both the god and goddess have been enshrined towards east and south respectively. Upon the tower of the sanctum, Kabiran, the deity of wealth, with his consorts, sculptured with riding on an elephant, could have been a very rare and unusual scene. After having worshipped Lord Kailas Nother and the goddess Ol Iyapan Anmai, one should do the worship of Kabiran, for what he or she could have been gifted with a wealthy life thereafter. Thank you.